Hello everyone. My name is Rashmi and I'm going to talk today about experiential learning. Now, what is experiential learning? As the terminology suggests, experiential learning is nothing but learning through one's own experiences. Or to put it simply, learning by doing. Now, the importance of experiential learning is that in this type of pedagogy, the flow of knowledge is multidirectional in the classroom. As against the unidirectional flow of uh, knowledge in a teacher centered classroom and the learners are in charge of their own learnings. They learn at their own pace and according to their capabilities. There are a lot of benefits of experiential learning. Some of them are it accelerates learning. Learning is faster. It promotes all the necessary 21st century skills which are very essential uh, these days. It develops all the life skills such as collaboration or teamwork. And there is a longer retention of the concepts learned because it is the learning is based on the experience that students have experienced and reflected on the learning. And it also allows out of the box and lateral thinking and they help the students understand that there are different ways to tackle a problem when they uh, you know, uh, communicate with each other, share ideas with each other. So they come to know that whatever learning has happened or whatever the problems are uh, there, it can be tackled in a different way also. Now, how to use experiential learning in a science classroom? It can be very effectively be used by following the four steps which are given here. The first step is the selection of the topic. The topic can be selected based on the previous knowledge of the students or it can be something new. For example, I have taken here seed germination. Now, what would be the outcome of this task is that the learners will infer what are the conditions required for seeds to germinate. So the next step is to provide the hands-on experience. The students will perform that experiment. So here, a simple three-bean experiment uh, is being done in which the materials required for this task or this experiment is listed out. These materials are readily available and uh, the procedure to do uh, the experiment is very clearly explained in simple language where the students can read and understand how the experiment has to be carried out and then they perform the experiment. The third step is the reflection on the new learning. So the new learning here is that the students will uh, understand that three conditions are required for seeds to germinate, air, water and warmth. And by doing the experiment, they will understand that only one seed germinated because this seed only received all the three conditions of germination. The rest of the two seeds were deprived of, of one of the conditions and hence they did not germinate. So this is a new learning for them. And then uh, the fourth step is the assessment based on the learning. Now, this assessment can be in the form of uh, paper and pen, or there can be various novel methods in which the uh, students, uh, the students can do project work where they grow uh, the seeds which are commonly found in the kitchen. And now that they know what are the conditions required for seeds to germinate, they will provide the seeds with those conditions and they will see that uh, the seeds uh, grow into healthy seedlings. So likewise, a number of experiments are given uh, in the textbooks uh, that are published by Macmillan, where there is hands-on experience and uh, their uh, learning is, uh, or learning of the concept is um, faster and uh, longer retention of the learning happens. Mm -hmm.